Hello, spirit family. So, a lot of the mystical, magical, super synchronistic things that happen in my life, I don't digitally document. Um, yeah, it's just some of the things, and some some I don't even you know journal or or record at all. Some some is just meant to be an experience at that moment, and that's it. You know, um, we we do kind of always want to scientifically document these things. Um, you know, halfway to prove to ourselves that we weren't you know um, having a special experience. <laughs> Um, but in any case, what I want to do right here is share something that happened synchronistically. Um, so I had already just found in here, this is my old, um, ticket book for, um, service. It had a locksmith business. Um, but I found this, and this is a card from my sister, uh, the inside is I'll leave unopened, but so I so that was like synchronistic. I had been thinking about my sister, and we even you know texted last week like, "Hey, we gotta catch up." You know what I mean? And then that, okay. And then this. So this was like at the bottom of like my soldering bag here, and 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 this piece of paper was like stuck together. I was just about to just it was like kind of like this, and I was about to just throw it out. And I picked it up and just it's a little stuck together. And then I see this podcast. Podcast. Slay Dragon um, on Station WFYL. Okay? It's a conversation between father and son. And. couldn't be more significant because uh, my son and I are, he's, he's 20, my son and I are just, huh. see when, when I say like reconciling or, or, or getting like back into a good mode, we didn't actually have any major fight or anything. I did, he was supposed to move with me. I moved to another state. And, um, he was dragging his feet, so I figured I would make the move, and he would come and follow. Well, he didn't. That's right. Um, so I came back. Alright, so, um, that's how that works. But, um, he was a little upset with me. But, um, you know, it's, 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 it's part of what we go through, a, a learning process. You know what I mean? It's not even that, like, I made the wrong decision to go, and, you know, and then he, or he made the wrong decision to, to not go with me. It's, we have to keep in mind that at every turn, every single thing that we think, you know, and we go, well, actually, I can't, let me, let me back up. At every moment, things are unfolding in ways we can't possibly imagine. So, you know, if you miss the bus, you know, then, you know, you might be super pissed off about that. But then you might run into somebody, you might meet the love of your life. You know what I mean? Having, having to wait for the, the next bus. You know how this works. Um, but we know how this works logically. However, it is really hard for us to just in the moment, moment to moment, you know, um, just remember that because we are creatures of desire, you know what I mean? Like, we are, we are steering and guiding and manifesting our reality uh, according to our desires. And so, at each moment, um, we, uh, you know, also have desires, or as Abraham would Call them rockets of desire. Oh, I love that, actually. I really didn't even... I like the word rocket, and I never really um, necessarily connected that uh, rockets of desire with, with, with my um, uh, 
uh, fondness to the word rocket. Anyway, um, but okay, so it's kind of like what we need to do, or or wait, I shouldn't see what we need to do, and that will automatically make your brain go. Uh, all right, so let me rephrase. Try experimenting with this. Try experimenting with you know a little bit of meditation, a little bit of quiet time, quiet the monkey mind, okay? But um, use some of that quiet time to just focus on what you want and visualize what you want, okay? And then when you're out, and, you know, and really love it and, you know, use the law of attraction thing, you know, feel as though it's already with you. Like, like when, as you're imagining, it's not as hard as you think because as you're imagining it, if you've got a really good imagination, okay, and you're imagining all your dreams come true, it should have been a big smile to your face, okay? Um, so that should trigger your uh, endocrine system, okay, into into making the the things that make you feel good, okay, um, and so uh, yes, while you you know you can meditate, and I would recommend you know you can start out slow, ten minutes a day, five minutes of trying to quiet your mind, and five minutes of imagining all your dreams come true, and. Believe it or not, we have something built into our heads that uh, really, really tries to prevent us from doing this on a, uh, you know, daily, regular basis. This happens to me too, all right? Um, but, uh, it, it, and look, it, if you're not doing it every single day, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? If you're doing it even a couple times... A week, that's better than not at all. Once is better than not at all. Okay? So, it's its its a concept. Don't think of it as necessarily a discipline because as you do this and see it and feel it working, it's just going to be something you're naturally going to want to do. It would be like, you know, let's see if I uh, gave you um, something tasty to eat, you, you, you would say, wow, that was... Uh, pretty good next time you're hungry but man i really would like like one of those tasty treats from brother nick all right so yes you should spend some you know a little bit of quiet time a little bit of imagining your dreams come true okay and then in the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle okay like if you you know miss your bus or whatever else it doesn't you know go your way don't get that job i mean you know person breaks up with you 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 know you screw up you know what i mean you know i'm not saying that this is a license to just you know just not try not care wreak havoc in your life but you'll find that even as you look back you'll find that the times that you screwed up was because you were in a bad way and that screw up triggered a situation that you know had you know repercussions or or or, or another avenue for for you to grow so um these you know things all happen in in order to make us better and and don't don't get uh caught up because what ends up happening near the end of the process you know i mean this is like kind of documented always like it's like right before you reach enlightenment there's that doubt there's that chasm and you know you kind of have to jump the chasm in your mind and um really just connect the uh the, the reality of the spiritual world with the physical inevitability of this third dimension and um 
So, and then as you're in your day-to-day -day things, if something doesn't go right, just trust that it didn't go the way you thought it should, but it is going the way that will ultimately be the best. It's, you know, going to put you on the, on the trajectory. And, you know, sometimes these things we can, like, see them right away. Like, for example, if you had, you know, met the person of your dreams, uh, a, you know, waiting for the next bus, if you, you know. Um, and that's uh, quite obvious. Other times, most times. Okay, I just had to pause there, but... Um, yeah, I was saying, uh, most of the times we don't see this uh, connection um, either for a while or, or maybe ever. Like, sometimes it's like, you know, even though we'll, you know, eventually down the line get the benefit from it, it's like you don't really, re you know, because it is the butterfly effect and it's like uh, this tiny factor, you know, affects that and on down the line. You, oh, it's very seldomly a uh, concise uh, view of you know spiritual cause and effect or, or let me put it this way physical effect spiritual 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 you know and but it's in the meantime it's also doing this in in the physical reality timeline you know it's it's going that way but behind the scenes it's also having effects that you don't see and as above so below